Relationships tend to have addictive qualities, all right? I get it. But what we need to understand is that the brain on love looks similar to the brain on drugs. And the brain coming off love looks similar to the brain coming off drugs. And this is scientifically proven, right? I ain't make this up. So the belief, right, is that falling in love is an addictive process, right? It's an addictive process. And the process of getting over a relationship is similar to recovering from an addiction. Let's be honest, right? Breakups are hard. Breakups are hard for everyone. But those who work on forgiveness and accept the loss and grieve, they heal faster than those who do not forgive and do not accept the loss and do not grieve. Because what we need to understand is that grieving is a part of the process. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to be angry. It's okay to yell. It's okay to throw things, right? It's a part of the process. I want you to. I want you to grieve. They just cheated on you. They just lied to you, right? They just lied on you. They just betrayed you. They just abandoned you. They threw you out. They cast you away. You should be upset. Right. I want you to cry. I want you to cry with real tears. There's nothing cute about being hurt. There is nothing cute about it. Let me tell you something real quick. Right. Let me tell you something real quick. Don't be addicted to suffering because your ex didn't know how to love you. Right. Don't be addicted to the pain. Don't be addicted to a, a depression. Speak to someone. See a coach. See a therapist. See someone that can get you to the next level because this pain is not you. This hurt is not you. You have to get back to the real you, the true you, the happy you, the joyful you, right? You got to get back to the God in you because a lot of us, we're holding on to pain and holding on to people who don't love us anymore. They don't care about us. They don't see a future with, with, with us. They told you to your face that they don't love you anymore, that they don't care about you anymore. But we are still begging these people to come back in our life and show us what real love looked like when they never loved us in the first place.